morning guys and welcome back to a very peaceful, lovely still morning. Me and Andy have um, popped down to Loch Clare, which is about maybe half an hour or so from where we're staying. Um, just been scouting around now for maybe 10 or 15 minutes or so, we walked down from the car and uh, we drove past here yesterday and there's some, some really, you know, there's some potential for some nice images here. And we're just starting to walk around the side of the, the lock and found this really nice potential image. So we're just gonna sit it out while the sun's starting to come up. There's a bit of color now happening in the sky. So um, I've got a composition set up. I'm just gonna wait for the light. Yeah, just see what happens really, but so peaceful, just no one around, really nice. composition is set up yeah just a case of waiting for the light there's some really nice high cloud actually just behind the low cloud that's kind of rolling down through the valley um, so I've opted to do a, um, a long exposure about 20 seconds f11 ISO 50 somewhere thereabouts uh, I've got a three stop ND in and a three stop soft grad on the sky soft grads work perfectly here because we haven't got a defined horizon so we can just take a little bit out can't see it blend into the mountains this morning is just really nice me and andy just stood up here enjoying this amazing landscape just beautiful really really nice so um yeah 20 seconds sorry f10 iso 50 free stop nd free stop soft two second timer and then let the camera do the magic A nice image, happy with that one. Works really well, high contrasty scenes. So we're just gonna take a walk now around, what's it called, Loch? Loch Clare. Loch Clare. I can't remember these locks' names. But yeah, go and take a little walk around Loch Clare. There's some nice pines on the other side and um, if we don't get any more images, it doesn't matter. Bit of a recce for another day. Yeah, see what happens, see if anything takes our fancy. Any more images, maybe. We might get a couple more images, possibly. If not, it'll be nice. Nice morning walk. So me and Andy have been walking now for maybe an hour and a half or two hours and uh, we started off at the very far lock and we've walked past uh, I guess maybe two locks right down the valley not seen a single soul it's um it's completely bleak these amazing white houses highland coos just amazing scenery is just just endless and endless it goes on and on and on uh, we finally got to the end of where the locks kind of end and uh, we started to turn around the corner to walk back up the other side and um, and he spotted these um, Scots pines sat up here on the edge. He spotted an absolute gem and this, this pine is absolutely beautiful. It kind of perfectly frames the image. Uh, looking back down the mountains and there's even a bit of a lock in the background there. And it's just a really, really nice image. So I framed it up 70 to 200 at 70 mil case polarizer on it and it's just adding a little bit of blacks into the black and just kind of adding a bit more contrast it's not doing a great deal but um it's doing a little bit and uh free stop soft grad uh, soft grad's pretty much been on my lens the whole trip so far it's um it's pretty much needed all the time up here with um with the mountains and everything framed a tree up on the bottom left hand side of the image and there's some really really nice low cloud just clinging to the tops of the uh of the mountains and it kind of just finishes off the frame lovely quite excited about this image actually it's really nice it would be better if there was a nice bit of sunlight or if it was a bit brighter i can't moan because it's absolutely beautiful so yeah 40th of a second f5 iso 80 free stop um soft grad polarizer 
five second timer because it's a little bit windy. And yeah, absolutely lovely. Gorgeous place, really, really nice. So I found another composition that I, um, I am really excited to shoot. And uh, we're just making our way back up uh, the side of the lock. I've been really excited actually all day because I've actually oh, bought a little goodie. It's kind of one of those little man things, I think. I think we're a bit funny like that. Um, went into Tesco's the other day and thought, what could I do to eat some nice hot food on the mountains other than buy those bags? Got a little food flask. What a genius. Mac and cheese in the Highlands of Torridon. <laughs> So that was really quite satisfying actually, eating macaroni cheese uh, out in the middle of Torridon, lost somewhere in the Highlands. Uh, it warmed me up really good, so it's, um, yeah, I feel a lot better now, I feel a lot better. Um, yeah, I sat here and uh, looked at this composition that I had and kind of just waited for the right moment. I've already taken the shot, but um, I'm probably gonna take a couple more anyway because the cloud is just looking absolutely fantastic on the mountain up at the top there. Um, it's just peeking through the mountain. It's just peeking through the top of the uh, top of the cloud, and the cloud kind of just bands around the top of the mountain. And I found this really, really lovely tree, and that's kind of my subject. I've placed it on the bottom left-hand third of the image, and um, I've got a lovely leading line of the lock, kind of just taking the eye round, and then on up to the mountain. And um, yeah, the mountain is just protruding through the top of the cloud. So I've, I said I've already taken a shot, but um, I'm rattling off a few here, so it's probably going to be. Uh, a case of just sorting through them later on and actually uh, picking the best one but conditions are really really nice now I'm going to get this one in the bag and then we're going to make our way back to the car uh, but yeah current settings 50 of a second f5 iso 50 uh, case polarizer and a free stop soft grad and just a two second timer and um, yeah I'll um, pick the best shot later on but conditions are absolutely beautiful really 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 nice I'm going to end this one here, really pleased with that last image and the one before, it was just really nice. The conditions are perfect. Uh, suit Scotland down to a tee, 
I'd rather this than blue skies. So um, yeah, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do consider clicking subscribe below. Um, we're gonna have a lot more Scotland content because we're here for the next four days. And um, yeah, give us a like, tell us what you think down in the comments, and I will see you guys in the next one.